In this video, we are going to create triacylene glycol regeneration and make it. Okay, now we have our regeneration feed. This is the feed of glycol that we need to regenerate. Okay, so if we open here and go to the composition, you will find out that most of the composition is triacylene glycol and it already removed water so we have here a composition of water and also some traces from other components like here we have some acid gases that has been re removed by TEG okay now we are going to add our uh, distillation column this is um, the unit that we are going to use for regeneration uh, most of the time TEG regeneration unit will consist of a condenser this is a condenser with a, with a very small duty, a reboiler, and one theoretical stage. Okay, so the whole distillation column will be only one uh, one uh, stage. Okay, so we press F4. Okay, here we press F4 to get our model palette, and we are going to add a distillation column. Distillation column with both reboiler and the condenser. We are going to add it here. Okay, double click to open it. Here, we are going to name it TEG Regenerator because here we are regenerating uh, TEG Regenerator. And for the number of stages, as we talked before, we only have one stage. Uh, the inlet stream here is the regeneration phase. This is the phase. And we have only one, uh, one theoretical stage, which would be the regeneration phase. Okay. Uh, we also have a condenser at the top and reboiler at the bottom. Okay, our uh, reflux will be a foil reflux, so everything here will be fed back to the condenser uh, to the top of the distillation column, and our overhead product will be a sour gas. Okay, this is for a foil reflux. We have at the top uh, a sour gas, and at the bottom, we are going to have. We already have created this before. This is our regeneration bottom. Okay, so this is the energy story. Here we are going to look for a regeneration bottom. This is the part that have been that have been uh, regenerated. Okay, for the condenser duty or energy stream, we are going to have a condenser Q. This is the energy stream for co for the condenser, and for re the reboiler, we will have a reboiler Q. Okay, so we are done with this section. After that, we are going to move to the next slide. Here, we have to choose, and most of the time, you keep it as it is. One throw and regular high cis reboiler. Okay, we, most of the time, we don't change this section. After that, we are going to add the condenser uh, pressure profile. So, the condenser pressure is given to be 9. 6.5 kilopascal and for the condenser pressure drop here we have 7 kilopascal for the reboiler pressure drop we don't have any pressure drop happening through uh, the reboiler and for the reboiler pressure we have it to be 103.5 kilopascal which is almost um, okay I just need to check that this one is 103.5 uh, okay, it's already uh, given here. Um, this is equal to 15 BSI absolute. Okay, after that, you have an option to enter the estimated temperature of the condenser or the estimated temperature of um, the reboiler. But in this case, we don't have information, so we will leave it because it's not required. After that, uh, we mentioned that we have a reflux for reflux okay so in this section we don't have a issue after that we are done okay it is not converted okay if we run it it is still one or more spec you need to add more spec because at the end of the day you need the, your degree of freedom to to equal zero so we go to most of the time okay it's suggested you can add here a reflux ratio or an overhead vapor rate okay I could do this too and I'll tell you that you to add a spec you go to this section this is a spec you ha it gives you some options that can help you to unconverge or to converge this uh, this column okay in this case 
we are giving that a column temperature okay so the first uh, spec is a column temperature we don't have it here so we are going to add and here we are looking for a column temperature this is our first spec column temperature okay this is a column temperature so we are going to add a spec so here we choose this one temperature and we open it by double click it open in this section in this case we are have the stage is a condenser so here we have the temperature of the condenser and we want it to be 102 degrees Celsius okay so this is our first spec the second spec is a column temperature too but related to the condenser as uh, a reboiler okay so we are going to add another column temperature uh, the temperature here and we are going to add it in this case the stage will be a reboiler we have added the condenser and you are given that the temperature of the reboiler is 205 okay so another third spec that we have okay is related to the reflux ratio and again we mentioned before double click here it's a full reflux so the ratio will be one okay the big value of the reflux ratio is one okay that's all we here go to this big summary and we make sure that the data that we have entered is already selected okay this one is empty so we don't need it to be active now we are going to run column tg generator has too many design specifications so in this case we remove this one the reflux ratio and after removing it it suddenly turns to be converged okay so in this case we have this one and this one the temperatures one for the condenser and one for the reboiler and this data is enough for the column to be uh, converged now for the performance here are the data that you need uh, to know or understand after doing the calculation so for instance this is your feed and this is the amount of teg that has been entering the uh, regeneration but after that this is the amount of regenerated bottom so this amount increases because you have done the regeneration okay and this is the amount or the traces of tg that will be sent out with the sour gases okay for the column profile here you will have your reflux ratio and this is the boil up okay here you are talking about the flow you can also check the energy for the condenser this is the temperature that we entered and this is the temperature also that we entered from the integration between the temperature this is the temperature of the one stage that we have also you have the pressure and the net liquid this is the net vapor this is the liquid that produced from the top because we have cold temperature and this is the amount of vapor from the repoiler area okay this is the amount of net feed and this is the net drop, the amount that you are drawing from uh, the column. Here we have also some data from about the duty, if you are asked about it. Here you can plot anything, so you can plot the temperature and the pressure, the composition. Here you have the data related to the condenser and the repoiler. Okay, we choose it to be total reflex and here we choose it to be regular. You have the temperature, the pressure, the duty and the flow rate. Okay, this is the internals and we will keep it uh, as it is. Okay, and here we want to go back to our envir simulation environment and check this one. Now, it's all conversion because we have entered enough data to be converted. Okay. In this case, this heat exchanger before, I mentioned that I'm going to discuss it later. This one is rich and cold. So it enter here and we increase its temperature, okay, like this. And it enter here to be regenerated. So you will have a bottom that is regenerated here, which is cold, which is hot, okay. So we need to lower its temperature. So it enter here and this is the lean, which will be fed to our column here it will be fed to this area but before before sending it back 
to this column, you need to make sure that the amount of flow here, which is 3.7 kilogram mole per hour, is equal to this one. This is 3.6. So we have a losses here. Okay, this amount of flow is sometimes you have a lot of losses, so you need to make a makeup uh, to be like um, a system or a unit to make sure that the amount or any amount of uh, glycol that you are going to lose will be re-added to make sure that the amount of flow through the system is constant. Okay.